We're here sitting with Molly Reardon and today from the Tremont Tea Room, one of the talented psychics here in the stable of the Tremont Tea Room, established in 1936. Molly, when did you come to the first reading and why were you fired? No, I'm just kidding. Why, <laughs> Molly, when did you first come to the Tea Room? You've been here, what, three years? Um, I first came in 2008 mm -hmm. and then I went away to Salem for a few years and then I returned. I've been here for a few years, yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what do you think um, you bring to the table? Like, in other words, what would a client get from a reading with you? What do you think you specialize in and how do you help people? Um, I specialize in showing people that they only use about this much of their power when they have this much power mm -hmm. and guiding them to clear whatever blocks them so that they can move forward. And what sign are you and what does it mean to you? I'm a cancer, it's the sign of the crab. Um, means that I'm very sensitive, very emotional, but also it's a great sign if you're psychic. And how long have you been a psychic? Um, since I could first think, I, I always uh, was a freak. What, uh, <laughs> when did you, <laughs> when did, can you do that thing with your tongue? Come on. Not today. Oh, no, not today. with that like lick your teeth thing with the you know? Yeah, it's kind of natural. You can't do a plan. Yeah. All right, so look at the camera. So uh, Molly, tell us this: When did you first start doing readings professionally? Um, let me think. When was that? I think it was in two thousand five. And is it something you had always wanted to do? Well, I really had to come to terms with doing it for money. My um, mom got a little tired of them coming to the kitchen and me doing it for free and showed me that it was okay for to make a living as a psychic and I finally came to terms with that and I uh, can't kind of like coming out of the closet the broom closet yeah I need to look at the camera <laughs> thanks dear yeah and Molly uh, what's your tagline what's your favorite line you say a lot oh, that's, that's a good question uh, how can I Oh, how can I be of service to humanity? Because uh, that's about the only thing that um, heals the uh, hole in your soul. So, every day you get up and you ask yourself, how can I be of service to humanity today? You've told me that before. I try to, but I'm human, so some days I forget, and those days usually aren't so good. <laughs> oh, stop. You're being modest. Yeah. So, <laughs> how many children do you have? I have three children. And what are their ages? Um, my son John's 26, my twins are 22. And we can't mention one of them at all? No, he's like 007. <laughs> mention Danny. So how do you juggle being a psychic, being a mom, being a sexy diva, you know? Um, with a lot of help from my friends here at the Tea Room and everywhere else and the Divine. What else would you want people to know about a session with you? What, what, what else would you want them to know that they'll walk away with? Um, I, how would I, I'd like to think that I try to love all people. It's not easy. I try to practice that every day. And um, there's a place for all kinds of people in the tea room. It's not, um, we don't exclude anybody. And sometimes we forget that and Alex will remind us, you know. Um, okay, I'm going to give you a, a word, and you're going to tell me the first thing that pops into your head. Ready? Okay. okay. Faith. God. Love. Everybody. Unconditional. The world. Justin Bieber. I don't know him. <laughs> if you like a reading with Molly, she works Wednesday through Saturday, Wednesday through Friday, uh, uh, 12 to 8, and Saturday, 12 to 7. How come you get to come in at 12 and everyone else comes in earlier? No, I'm just kidding. So check Molly out. And Molly, tell us about your new radio show, Everyday Magic. When is it air? Sundays from 6 to 8. On the Illuminati Network .com. Yeah. Yes, it does. We did our first show last um, Sunday. It was really cool. We had Dan Lavalley talk about polarity, and we had um, we had the rhythm priest that played with Ozzy and Santana. It was wicked cool. Alex showed up. 
We had a really good time. So now you you've been here at the Trim on Trim for a while. You have a huge following. Now you have your own radio show. What's next? What, what do you want? Do you want to be on TV? Do you want to be a star? Do you want to be the next Sylvia Brown? Um, if TV would help me to be of more service to humanity, I'd love it. Uh, be fantastic and hopefully be fun. All right. Thanks for talking with us today, Molly. Thanks, Alex.